In this video we're going to explore integer addition using integer chips. To start off, we'll need two different colors of chips. I'm going to use yellow chips to represent positives, and I'm going to use blue chips to represent negatives. The first thing we're going to define here is what we call a zero pair. Because this chip equals plus one and this chip equals minus one, if I combine those two together, they give me zero. So them as a pair, we call a zero pair. For my first example, we're going to look at what, we, what would happen if we add positive two plus positive three. This one's going to seem very simple. To represent positive two, I'm going to lay out two positive integer chips. To represent positive three, I'm going to lay out three positive integer chips. Now, I don't have any conflicting negatives in here, so I can see that positive two plus negative three gives me positive five. For my second example, we're gonna do something very similar. We're gonna look at negative one, so I'm gonna get a negative integer chip, and I'm gonna add two more negative chips. So this is representing negative one plus negative two. I can see right here that this gives me three negative integer chips, so that would mean that negative one plus negative two gives me negative three. For example, three, we're gonna combine positives and negatives. So I'm gonna look at adding positive three to negative two. So this would be positive three plus negative two. It's hard to combine these at this point, so this is where I'm going to start to look for zero pairs. I notice that I have a positive and a negative. These guys make a zero pair. Another positive and a negative. These guys make a zero pair, leaving me with one positive left over. So negative, sorry, positive three plus negative two gives me a positive one. In my fourth example, we're going to look at what would happen if we had negative five negative one, two, three, four, five negatives. And we're gonna add three positives to this, two, three. Just like in the last example, we're gonna look for zero pairs. Right here I have a zero pair, I'm gonna set that to the side. Another zero pair, and another zero pair. Leaving me with two negatives left over. So I can say that negative five plus positive three gives me negative two. <laughs> 